Hey, what's up, y'all? Welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'll be talking about SENS, Sensionic Holdings Inc. We have been reviewing stock pretty closely and we, I reviewed their earnings and Q4 results and financials as well in my previous video. So if you want to take a look, uh, you can watch that video as well. In this video, I'll be talking about three specific things. One of the thing is the cash on hand situation for Sensionic and what we should expect. We'll talk about the highlights and the, some of the accomplishment that Sensionic has announced uh, right after their earnings as well. The second thing is we'll also review two big, big catalysts for Sensionic. One is the positive catalyst that can bring the stock price to maybe $4.50 level or $5 even. And one of the potential catalysts that can uh, put some pressure on the stock price that we are seeing for Sensionic that is related to cash on hand that I'll also talk about. Uh, and the third thing is that we'll do at a very high level technical analysis, price prediction and where the price can go in the short term and in the long term for Sensionic. Consider subscribing to my channel if you haven't already because we have been reviewing a lots and lots of stocks and they have proven to be pretty good investments. So your subscription is super, super helpful for the growth and support of this channel. Click on the like button on this video because uh, your like ensures that this video can reach to more and more people. Now, without further delay, let's talk about Sensionic. The stock is trading at $3.17. It was down 5% more or less. In five days, the stock is up 20%. In one month, the stock is down 40% because of some of the sell-off that we have seen in last couple of weeks. One of the thing is this company has announced the earning for Q4 and the revenue was 3.89, but their net income was negative $101 million. So the company has burned a lot of cash uh, in, in investors' opinion, and that caused some concern, which is why the stock was down. We reviewed the stock at the time when the stock was around $1, and I want to say close to $2 level. And from there, the stock spiked up uh, 33 uh, almost 50% from $2 to $3. So almost 50%. And I do believe that uh, the stock has a lot more fuel to run up based on some of the catalysts that we are going to talk about. What? $101 million. The, the cash on hand is definitely one of the concerns. The cash on hand in Q4 was $18 million. The company had some of the highlights. So here is the net loss, $101 million. But the company announced that they have enough cash on hand to run run the operation for next few quarters uh, based on the company's announcement the company has uh company has confirmed that they raised capital and they raised $175 million proceeds from the equity offering in the first quarter of 2021. So the company has enough cash, but the way the company is burning cash might cause some concern, but it's not always a bad thing because the company can always raise more capital. That's one of the catalysts to get, that can add more pressure into the stock price that we are seeing right now. And the company is in need of cash. So I expect that there will be some stock delusion in 2021. I don't don't know when I'm not a financial advisor and this is not a, a, a financial advice or, or, or any sort of uh, suggestions so do your own due diligence and research but if company wants to raise more capital if the company wants to expand more stock dilution is a good thing and we have seen for so many biotech companies that stock dilution turns out to be a pretty positive thing so i just wanted to mention that in the interim it may cause some price pressure in the stock price but in the long term it is going to be super beneficial for the company and for the investors so the company had 3.9 million dollars in revenue the company had enough cash on their balance sheet and they were able to also add the cgm continuous glucose monitoring system or or, or the technology that they have which is implantable technology that codes were added into 2021 Medicare physician fee schedule, which is a good thing, which is going to help them reimburse payment ability faster for at a national level. And this is going to also help the physician, physician services as well. The company is also focused on making sure that they reduce their expenses. They reduce their quarter four operating expenses by $13.8 million compared to the same period last year. Now, in addition to that, one of the thing is they have also reduced their uh, resulting business changes anticipated reduced sales and marketing expenses by $45 million because they have done this partnership with a company called Essentia, which has a pretty strong, uh, pretty strong market, uh, market presence in European region as well as at a global scale. They have more than $1 billion in revenue on a yearly basis and millions of peoples are, people are using their products on a daily, daily basis. So they're trying to reduce the expenses there as well. 
one of the thing is the FDA approval and FDA guidance. Now the company is applying for their 180 day product for F FDA approval, CGM ever since extended the uh, uh, system. And they are now informed that the F uh, informed that FDA expects to assign their file uh, to a reviewer and place it under the review no later than April 15th, which is a pretty good thing. Once they get the reviewer, usually there is a pretty strong momentum, pretty pretty uh, quick turn around, and it could be up to one to two quarter delay uh, to get a approval, FDA approval, and hopefully the company will get FDA approval. One of the reasons why they can is they already have FDA approval for their 90 day product. The product that they're applying right now is the same product extension for 180 day, which is once again an innovative innovative technology that can help the diabetes patient at a larger scale. So that's a pretty good thing. It's in this environment, it's hard to predict the timeline and it is difficult to project the timeline. But what the company announced is they generally plan all, uh, close to six months review period, which is consistent with the FDA guidance. So the passage of the time and this expectation from the FDA, they're planning for an approval in third quarter or maybe in fourth quarter just to be safe. And based on uncertainty around the review timelines at the FDA they plan to provide update in the future so that is going to help uh, pretty good and they remain confident in our belief that promise the study that demonstrated strong performance for this ever since product that justifies the label extension up to 180 days and they look for, for publishing this data at the ADA meeting later this year. Now looking at companies, um, the, the stock trading, the volume is on the lower side. Uh, the, the latest uh, volume on the trading session was 35 million compared to the average volume of 54 million. In general, we have been seeing lower volume for many penny stocks and uh, stocks uh, in, in, in general because of the red days that we have noticed. But one of the good thing is the stock price was $1.90, which is when we reviewed this stock. And from that uh, price point, the stock is trading at $3.29. So we are seeing almost 50% spike from $2 to $3. So more or less, the stock is up now 50%, which is once again a great thing. The volume is sustained, I want to say. It's not a huge volume. Uh, there is, it's not a hyped volume or anything along those lines, but the volume is pretty healthy. Looking at the technical indicators, as you can see right here, the RSI for five days is 52, which suggests not an overbought, not an oversold condition. If you see the red lines right here, the MACD, MACD is the blue line and orange is the indicator or the signal. The MACD D is pretty close to the signal that suggests a pretty healthy MACD as well that will help the stock to go up um, in upcoming weeks and once again it depends upon a lot of other factors if there is not a huge sell-off in the market if the market condition uh, is in the green at the moment in general the Nasdaq or S&P what another catalyst that you should also consider is the $1,400 stimulus packet that people are going to get we historically we have seen that invest that people invest invest their stimulus uh, checks or additional cash that they have on hand into the stock market that also helps fueling the stock market, the stock price in general. And it is also an investment opportunity for a lot of people like me and you. Now, looking at uh, all those factors, I, and on the top of that, the, if the company gets the assigned reviewer, that's also a positive news. And if that company announces uh, shares for their information with investors and stock shareholders, the stock can go to, to even higher level. Let's take a look at the chart for one month. And as you can see, the, comp the stock had a pretty good support at $3.15 level. If you see right here, the stock price is at $3.13, 14 cents. The stock got support once again right here. The stock got support. It went up to $3.32, got back down. Now, one of the next support level that they have is right at this level, $3.47. If they cross this level, the stock can easily go up to $4 level. Now, why I'm saying $4 level is if you take a look in the past, the price uh, price range, they had $4.01, which is when we saw there was a great resistance 
and the stock went back to $3.96. So that happened a couple of times in the past and I do not have that uh, that chart right now in front of me. Uh, but I, what I wanted to share with you is if you take a look at the four, uh, uh, five day chart, there are some staircase. The stock tried going, uh, going up to $3.37 level and got back down. And the biggest, uh, biggest support that they have at this point is uh, once again, going back to $3.25, $3.30 level. If it crosses that and sustain for a day or so and closes about that price point, the stock can go to $4 level. If there is a, any negative momentum or if there is uh, more stock offering or stock dilution, the next support is $2.50 level, which is, uh, which is right here, I want to say, which stock went and I do not have my the chart from my brokerage account but i i reviewed that chart before and two dollars and fifty cent is another support that this stock has now looking at the company overall and their uh their projected timeline it does look pretty promising they will in my opinion they there's a likelihood there's a large potential that the company will get the fda approval for their 180 day product so these are some of the catalysts in terms of the positive catalyst to sum it up if they get fda a reviewer if we see if we are able to see the light at the end of tunnel and if the company shares more information with their shareholders and investment community the stock has a potential to cross the five four dollar level or potentially four dollars and 50 cents level now if there is more stock delusion the stock can go below uh, go down to two dollars and 50 cents level once again in the interim stock offering is not really a uh, not necessarily a not so good thing for the company. The stock offering ensures that the company has enough cash on hand and they can uh, they can sustain in their operations and then they can they have a good future and uh, they can invest that money into FDA approval marketing efforts and the general operations. So this this is my update for the week and I wanted to share with you for Sensionic. I hope you have. Uh, more information in regards to what can happen to Sensionic and hopefully it will help you making informed decision if you want to buy or sell Sen stock and uh, if you are wondering what to do with the stock I hope it helps you thanks for watching consider subscribing to my channel click on the like button thanks all for watching